Hi guys, welcome back. Domain 3 Architecture and Design Managing Local Storage and Virtual Hard Disk Practice Lab Library Commands VMware or Virtual Box Windows Server 2016 Domain Control Windows Server 2016 Domain Member Server But we mostly uh, going to work on only the Domain Member Server Task for the Lab Creating Disk Volumes Managing Virtual Hard Disk so first we are going to see creating disk volumes. So disk storage which forms an integral part of computer system stores information about the operating systems and users application. The storage can either be local or external storage. Windows Server 2016 gives you the capability to deploy in, uh, inexpensive and reliable storage without the use of expensive RAID adapter RAID arrays and SAN switch fabric. So Windows Server 2016 is like the earlier versions including disk management and Windows PowerShell for managing uh, disk volumes and virtual hard disk on your computer. So first we are going to see configuring disk volumes with the resilient file system. Okay, let's go for the lab. Okay, this is a domain, uh, domain server, domain member server. Okay, so resilient configuring uh, disk volume with resilient file system. So resilient file system is a prop, uh, proprietary, proprietary local uh, uh, local file system first introduced in Windows Server 2012 and is intended to replace NTFS in the future. So this file system provide data availability as file system metadata is protected. So RIF uh, meaning uh, resilient file system means RIFs okay the short RIFs so resilient file system can detect data corruptions when used with the storage spaces and makes the corresponding remediations by moving reordering and cloning of block between files to set up a disk volume to use a resilient file system we need to open the server manager dashboard here so then you have to click the search window oops sorry uh, the PowerShell so you can also open here the PowerShell or else you can op uh, use the search window to open the run as administrator right so you can open here run as administrator so uh, there's a two way so you can use it so now first we are going to uh, get the first we are going to get a list of available disks that are offline for that so just type this command you can press uh, tab uh, tab button to find the parameter you want to include uh, with the PowerShell you know so most of you are aware of it what is tab okay and then operational operational status hyphen EQ okay so now press enter button so so Windows PowerShell indicates the number of disks uh, that are currently offline so one two one three four so now just put uh, disk 3 online for that three
sorry that's a false command okay we have now successfully set the disk tree is online okay so now notice the PowerShell uh, didn't give uh, successful confirmations after putting this tree online so we're going to we are, we are now going to turn off the read-only attributes on this number three so for that So just enter. So this number three's read-only attribute has been successfully turned off. So next, so we need to get information about this uh, number three. For that. Okay, press enter so the information about uh, this number three is displayed here as you guys can see here so next command so next we, we are we are going to create a riffs resilient file system right Okay, now it's completed successfully. So, as you can see, there is no indications, and then percentage is also completed. So, now we are going to create a RAID 5 disk volume. So, normally Windows Windows support the creation of software-based RAID 5 volume called uh, striped volume parity with parity. Data is written or read across the striped volume with parity by the operating system or applications. RAID 5 provides fault tolerance through the use of parity information spread across the number disk volume. This ensures data can be recovered in one of the disk in the striped volume with the parity in the even one of the disk fails in the RAID 5 volume. So a yeah, RAID 5 volume calls for three physical layer with the similar or various capacity. The three disk if they have different size capacity must be able to come up with a common partition size to create a striped with striped volume with the parity so to create striped set with the parity disk volume so we are going to open the service manager so our server manager and the tools computer management so we are going we are doing the same thing uh, we have already opened here So here you just scroll down to see that uh, the, under the disk management so you you, you will see uh, the disk 4. So first you are going to uh, bring disk 4 online. So once it's started you can see it's online now. So you can now just scroll, scroll up a bit locate a disk 1. okay so disk one come on yeah okay now disk one we can just uh, just right click okay now you can see the new because we, ne we, are, we are going to unallocate partition for that we need to select new rate 5 volume okay So here on the welcome page you can just proceed click next here you can now uh, 
so under under the available select this this zero and click add so now the this zero is now uh, is now uh, selected now added successfully so under the selected section then this four click add now added successfully yeah so they are using they all are using the common value size you can see that uh, 174 uh, 1407 17407 so these all are common value size uh, volume volume size so now click on the select uh, here you can just pin box You can just type it. It just give you a value three thousand. Three thousand. You you can you can now notice the three thousand. The value the all the volume is now changed three thousand right. So we have now uh, set the three thousand. So uh, for all this, click next. So on this assign drive letter or path, we have to change assign the follow value to s just try change any letter so i am going to give yes then proceed next okay so now here the format uh, under the format value so you now you have to now click the volume just give your name rate 5 okay you can now just perform uh, a quick format that is a very good thing so uh, so the first one the first uh, perform your quick format then click next so here and completing new rate press finish and then click S button so now the disk management uh, it, it will convert to the disk dyna uh, I mean dynamic disk type so once we click S it will convert to dynamic disk type so this as usual this will take some time because it's formatting now as you guys can see now here formatting so then it will take some time to complete so you can see the resynchronizing 7% so once uh, once the rate 5 has been successfully created you will see uh, here the normal uh, the 100 percentage is completed so uh, we will see we will go next step okay so now you can see healthy so which means it's successfully completed so now we are going to create create a striped volume so a striped volume requires at, at least two disks with the identical unallocated size a striped volume is created to enhance the performance of disk as it provide an efficient disk read time because the disk heads are moving simultaneously giving a fast throughput okay yes yeah, stripe a yeah, stripe volume doesn't provide data redundancy compared to rate 5 and mirror volume so let's create a stripe volume now so for that first you are going to right click the unallocated space right choose new striped volume okay so once you once we click here so welcome to new stripe volume just click proceed next from the selected disk we have to click the disk 4 click add so now uh, the disk 4 is added successfully so after that you can now uh, you don't need to touch the volume 
so you can just proceed so proceed next after proceed next so you you get this page assign driving uh, driver letter or path so we are going to change the driver as a hatch you can also change any drive you want any letter any driver letter so just proceed click next just proceed click next so here on the formatting page please enable to uh, always enable the perform your quick format so now uh, we have to type rate zero this is very important so last time we were entered the rate five so now we are going to type rate zero so now next finish <laughs> so so it's, it's completed now it's successfully so as as in the earlier steps uh, we were we were done raid 5 and then raid 1 sorry raid 4 and then raid 1 so now so you can see here the so raid 0 is completed so we have now successfully completed the raid uh, the creating disk volume so we are now going to do the second task managing virtual hard disk okay let's go for the lab so managing virtual hard disk is a file the virtual hard, hard disk is a file used their disk storage by virtual machine gust in a virtual virtual virtualization software like uh, windows hyper v Win, uh, virtual hard disk uh, is supported in windows as a, as an al alternative to adding adding a physical disk for data storage for setting up a social uh, storage folds or as a storage for installing a new instance of windows server in the same computer so uh, we are we will now create and mount virtual hard disk using hyper-v powershell module for managing virtual hard disk okay let's go and create a virtual hard disk on hyper-v host for that just close it on the same domain number server so we are now open powershell So now we are going to create a new virtual hard disk. For that, under the engineering. okay so this is the command I created I mean, we have to use this command to create hard disk the virtual hard disk okay so I'm just testing and okay now it's created the hard disk the net uh, so we have to use this command so this is a folder whatever you want you can use it the folder name I mean the the VHD name okay so then once you enter it will create okay now so Windows PowerShell confirms a successful creation of the virtual hard disk so now so we are going to manage the virtual hard disk okay for that so you need to verify the system property of uh, VHD file just for that type the command So 
okay then the system information about these engineer dot vhd the fault the file I created the vhd is displayed so so this one is to be able to change some of the property of virtual hard disk it must be dismount first so we need to uh, first going to first we are going to dismount the uh, engineer dot vhd so for that near dot VHD right so press enter I'm oh, sorry there is a small typo dismount okay done enter so now it's successfully dismounted so we can again if you want you can check so you can see here the status is false attached so last time it shows true right so now is false so now So the, the <coughs> is dismounted successfully. So we are going to uh, now convert the uh, engineer to, I mean the VHD to VHDX, which your hard disk, right? So for that, VHD hyphen path C engineer destinations so we are going to add X so by doing so so we will convert the file to which virtual, virtual virtual disk type so just type enter just press enter button looks there is again there is small typo let's see yeah there is a small space between path here there is no space now you can enter so you can now convert it successfully so the converted VHD status so successfully is done now so we will now collect the informations about the disk for that VHD engineering X okay so we are now collecting the I mean we will we will now collect system information about the disk okay done so the property of uh, engineering uh, the property of this dot uh, VHDX the virtual virtual disk type the system type uh, we, ca we can now optimize optimize the newly created virtual hard disk uh, file for that we have to use the optimize command okay so press enter button please wait for sometimes yeah he's done already 
so now the virtual hard disk is now optimized successfully so we can now mount we can now mount the virtual hard disk press enter so so you normally you won't get the system confirmations after successful mount the virtual hard disk uh, file so you can see the property of if you want double check here you can see that attached true successfully we have now mounted successfully so we have successfully completed the important task about managing local storage on virtual hard disk okay that's it guys for this lab uh, please subscribe my channel press the bell button to get more update share the video if you like guys please support my channel have a good day bye bye